Trauma protocols, phone list, pagers. The nurses will page you, you answer every page at a run, a run. That's rule number two. You're supposed to follow me. Your first shift starts now and lasts 36 hours. Your grunts, nobodies, the bottom of the surgical food chain. You run labs, write orders, and you work every second night until you drop. And you don't complain. That was hideous. I feel like a fraud. I rocked it. I think I'm the new Nazi. Oh, you are not. Mary and Christina went on Christina's honeymoon without me. Girl on girl honeymoon. <laughs> and then Alex took a road trip to see Ava without me. I did not go to see Ava. And her name's Rebecca, and I didn't go see her. I just drove in that direction. Why is everyone so... Uh, hey, you want to know... Hey, um, this is for residents only, no interns? Yeah. Yeah, get out of here. Babies. You go away. 007's in training. Seriously. Seriously. I guess I should be going to. No, George, we didn't mean you. No, I'm on any time. Wait, what did you want to tell me? Is this how it's going to be all year? Because Bambi has got to learn how to deal. At least he came back. Yeah, cut him some slack. Dude, he failed his exam and got left back in kindergarten. Uh -huh. You wouldn't even look at me. Where have you been? We have multiple NBCs. Do any seconds. We're here, aren't we? Right, We're just, here. Just get ready, okay? And monitor your interns. All right, you guys, stand against the wall and out of the way unless I call for you. Okay, this is what's called a trauma situation. So there's going to be lots of activity and a lot of patience. So if you guys have any questions at all, just ask, okay? I'm trying to save Bambi's life. My interns think I'm a loser. Except her daughter. Callie's a bitch. Word. She won't let me off my patient. There's nothing wrong with him except he's a nut job. Severed arm. Does anybody know anything about deer? Tastes good. Evil. I'll say it. George is being an ass. I think it's my fault. I said some things and now he's not talking to me. I don't know what he's got to complain about. Those new chick interns are hot. It's married, Alex. Yeah, he's married. You know who's seriously hot? That Lexi girl. Get out before I hurt you. <laughs> Going over Callie's head to Bailey. Circulatory system of a deer. Shut up. Oh, Dr. Bailey. Karev. Right. Uh, I'm supposed to be on plastic. I'll take it. I called Karev with the Chryslers. What about me? Is the truth. You know, O'Malley's got these morons snowed. They don't even know he's a repeater. Yeah, whatever. Are we doing this or not? We ate lunch in here for a year. The least we can do is say a few kind words about him. Hardly ever farted. Alex. Fine. Uh, he had t 12 surgeries this year, and he, he lived through them. That's, that's impressive. Thank you, Alex. Charlie, the truth is, you were a bastard. You were. You were mean and stubborn and just a bastard. Bye-bye, Charlie. Alex, I need a favor. I don't have time for favors. I'm working here. Well, what are you doing at lunch? Yeah. According to my interns, I'm watching Torres kick your ass all up and down the cafeteria. How do they know? So it's true. What'd you do to her? Nothing. Dude. We need a little help here. <laughs> oh, thank God somebody I know. Will somebody please make sure they page my husband? Is that? Camille Travis, 18. Need surgical Craig. airway. Somebody get me a Craig tray. Need emergency Craig's to be done. Who do you use one? One. Dude, this oh, is Jesus. Jesus. Pulse is getting weaker. So we better not screw this up. What are you doing? I'm trying to help her breathe. She just slit her throat. Suction, I need suction. Get the retractors in. There's too much blood. You didn't hit an artery, did you? No, not on purpose. Oh, God. Oh, God. Get the tube. Oh, God. <gasps> Sats are going up. Oh, we did it. One thing this child did not need was another surgery. She wasn't breathing, Chief. We didn't know what else to do. No, there it is. The mass. I wonder if she couldn't breathe. Imagine being 14 years old and having some doctor tell you you've got cancer. What do you do with that? Man, you fight. Camille's a fighter. You two have that in common. Mm -hmm. So what's it gonna be? Stevens gets her bones broken or Torres gets taken to the trailer park. Neither. It's not happening. But if it does, will you pull her off me? You gonna tell me what you did to her? You have to promise not to say anything to anybody. Swear. I swear. Jeez. I slept with George. I know. And I'm a terrible person, which is why I'm going to let her get one good punch in. Maybe two. I deserve it. No, one. Then you pull her off me. You slept with O'Malley. Alice, she said you wouldn't say anything. I won't. Believe me. This... I'm embarrassed for you. 
Jen, you guys seen Kelly? No. Oh, was it time for her to grind your bones into dust? You don't think I can take her? Are you guys really doing this? You heard? The whole hospital heard. Yeah, you know, that explains the line at the salad bar. What are you fighting about? Believe me, you don't want to know. Alex. I'm just saying, whatever it is, it's not worth it. Actually, it is. Some things are worth fighting for. I'm just saying, I learned how to fight in a trailer park, OK? Where'd she learn to fight? Boarding school? And quite the same thing. Put some badass in me. I can take a girl down. Izzy? Close with your left. Protect your face with your right. Look, I was gonna fight you. you... <laughs> That's forfeit, Taurus, forfeit. Oh my god. What happened? Was there a fight? No. Guess they realized they were fighting over nothing. What, I'm invisible now? What do you want? So you hate me now, too. Well, join the club. You and O'Malley. O'Malley! What? What is it that I did that is so horrifying? I fell in love, Alex. She's married. Yeah. So, you're carrying a big old torch for Ava, or Jane Doe, or whatever it is that you call her, and she's married. So what gives you the right to judge what I do? Why do you even care? <laughs> you told me you weren't ready yet. After Denny, to be with anyone. And then O'Malley? O'Malley! And then you tell me like I'm one of your chick friends. Come on. When someone hurts us, we want to hurt them back. Come in. Keep it down, man. When someone wrongs us, we want to be right. Without forgiveness. What are we looking at? Meredith put her mom in a baggie and brought her to work. I had to get her out of my closet. She was haunting me. And now she's haunting us all. Okay. So we should round before heading to the pit, or? Yeah, you should direct your questions to Dr. Bailey, Stevens. Why is Stevens directing her questions to Dr. Bailey? Because she's been sleeping with my husband. What are we doing? Video from the helmet of a skydiver without a chute. You guys are sick. It's not a snuff film. The guy survives. Oh. Oh. Wow. He's oh. going for a second shoot. Oh, oh, also doesn't open. I think there are people who are screaming. Oh, look how close the ground is getting. Oh, what, what's he doing now? He was pants. Is he saying something? Turn up. God, I wish I would have told you. I'm so pumped. I love you. I love you, Sally. I love you. I... Oh. <laughs> Sad. Hey, what are you even doing here? Aren't you supposed to be in surgery? Oh my guy is allergic to anesthesia. The surgery was canceled. I need to talk to Dr. Torres. My patient won't crap and won't stop talking about it. I'm done. Dr. Torres in there. My face won't walk, and she is abusive. I can't work with her. Dr. Shepard's ready. Okay, here's what's gonna happen. Take Crap Man and put him in the same room with Lazy Facelift. They can abuse each other. The babe. Here we go, Jerry. What the hell is this? Oh, room shortage. You're gonna have to double up. What? Yeah. Harriet, meet Jerry. This is absurd. Oh, not so angry, Jerry. It's not good for the complexion, right, Harriet? Harriet, Jerry may be monopolizing the bathroom for a few hours, so if you need to go, I'd go now. This is unacceptable. I don't even think it's legal. Well, my advice would be to get yourselves discharged as quickly as possible. See ya. Where is she? Oh, well, looks like she finally got out of bed. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. We're adults. Don't look so shocked. She always looks like that. <laughs> well, I guess you finally crapped. What? Even they have chemistry. 
Stevens. Did you hear a word I said? Grow up, I believe, is my point. I always knew you were an ass, but seriously, you brought Jane Doe to the gallery. Are you trying to get yourself kicked out of the program? She wanted to see what I do. Mm-hmm. But I thought you were seeing Lexi. I'm a popular guy. I'm sure would have. You're busted. Save it. Mm -hmm. You're using a cable in there. You getting up? No. Maybe. I don't know. What's that smell? So much cooking. That's not cooking. That... That's not cooking. You're gonna be late, you know that, right? I hate work. Since when? Since I hate it. I hate Christina, I hate Han, I hate it. What happened? I got crushed under a bookshelf and multiple rib fractures. You might have dropped a lung. They're worried there may be damage to the heart. How's Tuck? Oh, he's still not breathing on his own. You know, I wish I could help, but I can't think of anything I can do. Christina always knows what to do. What's your deal with her, with Yang? Nothing. It's no deal. I'm, I'm crippled with envy. Of Yang? Because she's better at cardio than you? She's not better than me. She just... She knows what she wants. She has this faith in her skill and herself and her future in cardio. It's an unwavering faith. She knows who she is and I want that. I was chasing cardio because I want what she has. She's a robot. Not the robot part, the, the faith part. I want that. Just over the mountain. Miranda, he's choking. It's too easy. He can lean on his own. Shh, shh. There you go. There we go. Shh, shh. said you'd have a heart attack this afternoon and uh you didn't so you think there might be something to this healing thing after all no but uh, i'm gonna help you anyway or uh she is uh, this is dr stevens hello hi um i'm sorry i'm i'm not sure what i'm doing here no you're gonna talk her through a coronary artery dissection repair she's an expert no, no, no. She's a second-year resident like me, but she's been focused on uh, cardiothoracics for a while, and she's seen the procedure done. Well, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but... Uh, she's, uh, she's like a bright yellow, right? What? What? What I'm saying is she's an optimist. She's the opposite of me. She's exactly the kind of person you want helping you, right? She brightens you, that's for sure. Shut up. What are we talking about? We'll just talk her through the surgery before she croaks, all right? Can you do that? Um... You want me to talk you through it? Uh, in as much detail as possible, yes. Okay. Uh... Yang's got nothing on you. <clears throat> okay. There are four chambers in your heart, and there are three major coronary arteries that supply blood and oxygen. Your dissection... As doctor, we speak. We dream side of the contest. Done. Yeah, I That's bet all. they're just trying to think of guys. I'm so glad I'm past that. I don't need guys. I don't need sex because this competition is my orgasm. No, I should be hanging out with Han. Christina, would you focus? It's so much more fun kicking your ass when you focus. Who's winning? Uh, Yang. Surprise. What? Let me see. I'm 26 points behind. That's not possible. Count again. What about all the surgeries? Only three points for watching. You gotta do. I do do. I can't make them let me do procedures. Okay, he's mine. All you back off. Swollen ankle is. Yeah, he passed out. He's pale, altered, hypotensive, and he's got a rash. You see his sprained ankle. I see medical mystery. 80 points. What are you doing here? You spent the last three hours watching a surgery. That's three points. No, I'm trusting you guys screwed up enough that it won't matter. I could still win. I could. I did get a lot of points today. Who won? Congratulations. Who won? Dr. Gray. Oh. 
Congratulate Dr. Gray. Congratulations. Hey, don't Next you want three months? Whenever you all get a surgery, you have to page this pager. And if Gray wants your surgery, she has the right to take it from you. Come oh. on. Crap. Babe, and I'm sick of looking at you. You're my one of y'all here, sick of looking at you. Isn't that right, but Sick of looking at your little ugly face. Somehow I thought I would enjoy this more. Oh, well, give it to me. I'll enjoy it. Don't give it to her. Give it to me. Oh, shut up. It's hers. Oh, Rebecca. Hi. Um, I really didn't want an ultrasound. I just wanted to get something for the morning sickness. It's really bad. So you're pregnant? Yeah, just like five weeks or so. Uh, yeah, an ultrasound can be pretty hard to read this early on. So let's just take a blood sample and uh, make sure everything's on track. OK. Dr. Stevens, do you know when Dr. Krev will be out of surgery? I just wanted to say hi. Um, I, uh, I, I don't know that he's gone in yet. I, I, I have 15 minutes to hear about your feelings, so... <clears throat> Alex? Alex, you look thoughtful. I'm very interested to hear, I mean, uh, what are your thoughts? Uh, is he, are your thoughts, your feelings? Honestly? Uh-huh. I'm a little worried about my friend Alex here because his Jane Doe girlfriend keeps showing up like something out of Fatal Attraction. Her name is Rebecca Pope, and she's not my girlfriend. Really? You guys haven't had sex at all recently? She's married, okay? She has a husband. Well, does it hurt that you, she's married? I mean, does that hurt your, your heart? What's the matter with you? Dr. Stevens, labs for Rebecca Pope. Thanks very much. Hey, no, this... Can't be right. Are you sure this is right? Of course, I'm sure. So my patient is not pregnant. Apparently not. Something that will change your life. Forever. No one wins the Harper Avery. That is so weird. We know someone who won the Harper Avery. Hey, talk to Meredith. See if she'd be okay if Rebecca moved in for a couple of weeks. What? Yeah, well, we're gonna get our own place, but it's gonna take me a while to save up for a security deposit. She's married. She's leaving her husband. She's telling him right now. Okay, but what about her kid? I don't know. It's a mess right now, but we're figuring it all out. Alex, wait. She's pregnant. She's knocked up. Look, just talk to Meredith. Dr. Bailey. If I can't get hold of my patient, is it okay to give her test results to her friend? No. What if her friend is a really good friend of mine and he's changing his whole life for her because he thinks she's pregnant and she's not? Stevens, you want to win yourself a Harper Avery? You need to master the basics of privacy. Who is the chief needs to know? Liquids for your fever. Drink this. I'm fine. You're run down. I'm fine. You're taking on too much. She can't just move up here. You guys need to slow down and just... What's your problem? You can't pass a baby on the street without stopping. The only freaking baby in the world you're not happy about is mine. It's not that I'm not happy for you, it's just... What? Nothing. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you did great. Alex! You think I'm scum? You think I can't do this? But it's my kid, Izzy. My kid. And what you think doesn't matter. Did you ever get in touch with that patient? No. Did you tell a friend? No. <sighs> Even though it killed me, I didn't tell her. You growing, Stevens. Yeah, well, I wish it would stop. Sloan. I used to be a patient of his. Rebecca? Where have you been? Hi, Izzy. I I've called you and left, like, 50 messages. You seem kind of upset. Well, you're not pregnant, first of all, and Alex has been turning his life upside down to be your baby daddy, and I can't tell him because of confidentiality. So, yeah, upset. You can talk to Alex about anything. I want him involved, and I am pregnant. You kind of know. Okay. So if you're not trying to trap Alex with a fake pregnancy, you won't mind if I do another test, just to be sure. Trap him? Are you out of your mind? I'm pregnant. And that's a good thing, because I want this baby. I've always wanted a baby. You have a baby. Of course I do. I mean, I want another one. Do the stupid test again. It'll be fine. And I need to see Dr. Sloan. Can you help me with that? 
Yeah, see what I can do. Can I talk to you about Rebecca? Busy. Alex, I gave her a pregnancy test last week. She's not pregnant. I wanted to tell you. Yeah, well, you're telling me now. Alex, when I told her, she... She said I was wrong. She thinks it's some sort of false negative, which it isn't. Well, she was puking this morning, and her, and her boobs are all blown up. I ran it twice. Well, labs are wrong all the time, and you're wrong all the time. How about you mind your own freaking business and stay out of my life? Stevens, what are you treating Rebecca Pope for? For a pregnancy she doesn't have, but she thinks she does. Doesn't one of you have science on your side? Yes, she is acting really weird. She wants a breast enhancement surgery. She thinks her new face doesn't match her body. We may be looking at acute stress disorder. It can happen when people have massive plastic surgeries and major trauma like she did. You look in the mirror, you don't see the same person, so you're not sure you are the same person. It can lead to some pretty odd behavior. Like thinking you're pregnant when you're not and forgetting you already have a baby? I want you to make it clear to her that she's not pregnant. I get her a psych consult and I'll psych call me. Okay. It used to happen when I was a kid. I'd get a strep test and come back negative. Look, okay, that's your uterus. There is nothing in there. No fetus, no sac, nothing. Yeah, but it's too early. It's tiny. You can't see anything yet. What the hell are you doing? I paid you 20 minutes ago. Rebecca, look, okay? This is a fetus at six weeks, right? It's a tiny spot, but it's there. You can see it. Look at your uterus. There's nothing there. Nothing. Get out. Here are our labs. There's a chart note from Dr. Sloan. I can get a psych consult for you if you want. Look, just get out. What? There's no baby. I'm so sorry. I lost our baby. <laughs> What are you doing? Get some of her clothes. She's staying with me for a couple of days. She didn't bring enough stuff. Did you call her husband? She didn't want to talk to him. Did you get a psych consult? <sighs> Alex, hey, she had a hysterical pregnancy. Sloan thinks she may have a... She's fine, okay? I can handle it. I'm going to take care of her. Just give me some damn girl clothes. Hey, can you take my cases this morning? Check in on my post ops. You're not coming to work? No, I'm gonna hang with her back and watch movies. So if you could cover for me. Hey, take a bite. Yeah, I'll cover for you. And Alex, hey, she's not looking very good. She's fine. Come on, take a bite. Dr. Bailey, listen. I am really worried about Ava. I mean, Rebecca. I mean, Alex. Well, Alex. And Rebecca, who used to be called Ava, so that's why I keep... Anyway, listen, she's crazy. And I don't mean funny crazy, okay? Bad crazy, okay? Alex is home with her right now, and he's all, take a bite, take a bite. It's weird and sad, and I want to help, but I don't know what to do. So I'm going to need you to tell me what to do. What do I do? But she she to... needed me. Oh, that's so nice. But Rebecca's at the house. I needed you. Apparently she's crazy. Yes. Now, George, we've had this discussion and we decided that it's not appropriate to call Izzy crazy. She's spirited. Spirited. Yeah. Not me. I'm not crazy. Rebecca's crazy. And, and Alex is pretending she's not. It's... Hello. About Rebecca. Me and my world-class neurosurgeon are going to use a brilliant cutting-edge technique to save a life. So I don't have time for crazy. Work it out. Ooh, a trunk. Uh, uh, Yang, it's your Stevens. You need to cover the pit. And didn't you volunteer to oversee Karev's post office? Yes, but, uh, but come on, I'll have time for pet and let's go. Alex not answering the phone. Alex and his insane girlfriend. Alex! Alex! I'm checking in. Call me back. God, the things we do for the people we love. Exactly. It's... See? You have an appetite. It's a good sign. Hey. Hey, yes. I'll be right back. What's going on? How's Rebecca? She's fine. What do you need? Did she eat? Did you call her husband? Is. Don't get mad at me because I care. Not caring, butting in. I'm butting in because I care. You know how you care? 
By covering me at work, not by calling me every hour and asking... Uh. Hang on. Rebecca? Alex? Rebecca? Alex? <laughs> What happened? I need betadine, saline, and a suture kit. What happened? She cut herself. It was an accident. I've got this. How much blood has she lost? Alex. It's fine. I've got this. Tom's almost bandaged, then we're gonna move to the other one, okay? I prescribed her alprazolam and clonazepam. The cycle will be down within an hour, but I thought it'd be good to have something to keep her calm until they get here. She doesn't need any drugs or any psych. She needs a psych consult to be admitted. I'm not admitting her. You're not taking her home. I was watching her every minute until you called. You shouldn't have to watch her every minute. You're not on today. So she was admitted under my name, which means I get to decide the treatment plan. She needs to be put on a hold. So Damn it! Would you leave us alone, you stupid bitch? Covered in blood, talk fast. Alex brought Rebecca in. She tried to hurt herself, and now he's talking about taking Rebecca home. And? She needs to be admitted. She needs a psych consult. And? Can you just do your job? Yeah. How would you do your job? I can't. I don't know what to do. Stevens, she's your patient. He's her loved one. Come on, you know what to do. It's just hard to do it. Okay, I'll try. D no, you don't have to try. You're a doctor trained by me. With all the skills that God gave you, you have everything you need. Rebecca, this is Dr. Shapiro from Psych. He's going to be examining you. Is. He's going to ask you a few questions while Dr. Karev and I talk. Alex? What did I tell you? She's my patient. I decide her treatment plan. I am not releasing her without a consult. If you try to take her out of this hospital without my okay, I will call the police and have you arrested. You can't have me arrested. Try me. Look, Iz, you're worried. I see that and I understand, but you're, you're being a little unreasonable. I've got this. No. You don't have it. I have it. I'm taking her home. No. No! What, are you going to bodily restrain me? I will if I have to. Are you going to hit a woman? I will if I have to. Alex. She's sick. She needs help. You cannot possibly give her. I can take care of her. No, you can't. You have no idea what you're doing. You could do more damage by taking her home. Look, I can take care of her. I've done this before. Alex. Look, she's just going through a bad patch. People go through a bad patch. All right? I, 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 I can feed her, and I can, I can change her, and I can bathe her, and I can watch her. Until the bad patch is over, I can take care of her. Look, I took care of my mom, and I can take care of her. You've done this before. I've done this before. I have done this before, Izzy. But I was a kid then, and I'm a man now, so I'll be better at it. I have done this before. Stop. You don't have to say anymore. Let it go. Awful. <clears throat> yeah. All my trouble. Now I found my place to go. I'm sorry. Whatever. <laughs> Not whatever. I'm sorry. About Rebecca and your mom. I'm sorry. Please. Please. 